Hello, I'm Scott Casey with Vistacom Information Systems, and I'm here to provide this video tutorial on how to use the VPoll mobile polling solution for the Bishop Special Electing Convention in January of 2023. This will be the technology that you will use to vote for your next bishop. And this is also the same technology that has been used at the 2022 annual convention for voting needs during that time and will subsequently will be used for this year's 2023 annual convention too. So hopefully this will be familiar to some of you already. So the first thing we need to do in using vPoll is to open up the internet browser on our device. vPoll can be used on any device that has an internet connection, a smartphone, a tablet, a laptop. It can be used on any browser, internet browser, whether that's Safari or Google Chrome or Microsoft Internet Explorer or Firefox. But whatever your device is, you want to make sure you have an internet connection. That's the first step. Then the second step is to open up the internet browser on your device. So here on the screen, you can see that I've opened up Google Chrome on my computer. And what you want to do is go to the vPoll website. And so in the address bar, you want to type in vpoll period mobi, vpoll.mobi. And that will take you to the vPoll homepage where you need to enter your access code for this particular convention. Now, vPoll is currently in the process of redesigning the website. So I'm not sure if it will be completed at the time of the Bishop Special Electing Convention. So currently, this is the homepage of the vPoll website. It might wind up looking something like this at the time of convention. So it'll either be this site or this site. But in either case, when you get to the vPoll homepage, the purpose of going here is to enter the access code for your meeting. So what you're looking for is the enter access code field. So on the existing website, the current website, it's located right here. On the potentially new website, it's located here. But as you can see, they both have the enter access code field. So what you want to do is when you go to the vPoll homepage, you want to click your cursor or tap on the enter access code field and enter the access code for this Bishop electing convention. And that access code is DCF special. DCF special. Diocese of Central Florida special. Now, please note that the access code is not case sensitive. So if I made everything all caps, that's okay. If I made it all lowercase or if I made it initial cap, again, that's all well and good. So here I have a, kind of a little bit of both, uh, all caps and uh, lowercase. So here we have a DCF special and click the join button. From here, you are taken to the screen where you enter your login credentials. Your login credentials will be provided to you in a separate email, but the credentials are your ID number, a first name, last name, email address. So you have to enter all this information in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here's my ID number, first name, last name, my email address. And then finally, you select the polling session, which will be the Bishop Special Electing Convention. And then once you do that, you click the submit button. And assuming you have entered all of your information in correctly, you will see the message question will be broadcast shortly. Please wait. There's a very good chance that maybe you didn't enter all of your information correctly. If so, you might get an error message that says invalid credentials. Please check. So you just may have to retype that information in again and make sure you have all the information entered in correctly and there are no typos. And once the first ballot is ready to come up, it will appear on your screen. You simply select your answer choice and click the submit button to cast your vote. And why don't we go ahead and demonstrate that? So here is a sample ballot, a sample vote for an election. You simply choose one candidate. If you wish to change your mind, you can do so simply by selecting a different answer choice. But once you make your choice and you click the submit button, you receive the message answer is successfully saved. At this point, you can no longer change your answer. It is the equivalent of putting a paper ballot in the ballot box, but that is essentially it. So make your selection, click the submit button, and uh, presumably we may have to do this for several ballots. If we do get to a second, third ballot and so forth, again, just patiently wait and the question will appear on your screen for you to make your submission. Thank you very much.